Hello, friend, and welcome to the adventures of Young Bee and Old Raccoon. You know, there's an interesting article here and story. And I, I thought of this because of the spring and summertime that we are now in the midst of. That the path to creating a wildlife corridor begins with a single garden. And this tells us a little bit of what sort of things can we do to attract wildlife and to have a refuge for wildlife. Well, our story begins. Old raccoon scratched his belly and yawned. Oh, perhaps, perhaps, he said absentmindedly. Young bee was buzzing back and forth peppering Raccoon with questions about the new garden. Raccoon had mentioned it just before heading, heading out for the evening, promising to explain more in the morning. Now, B was wide awake and ready, for Raccoon had been up all night. B flew around and around in all directions. Oh, how far is it? Do you think I could get there today? Do you think I will see the lady? Raccoon chuckled. <laughs> Take it easy, little one. That's a long flight for someone your size. There's a chain of gardens popping up around here. Shall we, shall we plan some stops for you along the way? Bee landed on a leaf. and stood there, trying to be patient. Raccoon had said that the new flower garden was feeding butterflies, hummingbirds, moths, wasps, bees, birds, and bats were there too. Even wasps and bees. Everyone was gathering food for the new garden and bee wanted to go too. All sorts of animals attracted to the garden. Raccoon smiled at young busy bee and settled into a story. I saw the lady last summer. She was picking Queen Anne's lace at the edge of her yard. She didn't know it, but she carried someone back to her house with her. You know who eats Queen Anne's lace, don't you? Yes, sir proclaimed B. Caterpillars. That's right, praised old raccoon. She had black swallowtail caterpillar. That night, I watched through the kitchen window and could see black swallowtail chomping away on Queen Anne's lace. But the lady hadn't noticed yet. Then, for some reason, late one night after the children were in bed, she crouched down and looked under the flower. She stayed there watching for a long time. The next morning, she went out and picked some more Queen Anne's lace. I knew then that she had finally seen black swallowtail. Lady brought her kids to watch every day as Caterpillar transformed. One of them drew a picture of the colorful stripes. See, just like that. And then they hung the picture on the refrigerator. Finally, one morning, they came downstairs to find a chrysalis hanging off the flower stalk, attached by a single tiny thread. Hmm, they'd never seen that before. Lady gently picked up the whole vase and put it outside on the table. When Black Swallowtail Butterfly emerged, she could fly freely and be free. B shuddered. Oh, at least she escaped being snapped up by Wren for her lunch. Who is Wren? Remember, Wren is a bird. And butterflies, bees, caterpillars, always got to be on the lookout for those. Yes, yes, Raccoon clapped his paws together. 
That's when the lady started digging up her grassy yard. By the time fall came, she had a whole new garden prepared for scattering wildflower seeds and placing shrubs. I imagine she came to see her scenes and realized that mowing a lawn isn't half as fun as walking through a meadow dotted by orange milkweed or bright red bee balm. Or maybe she decided she'd rather not run that noisy, smelly engine and preferred to watch sulfur butterfly sipping the morning glory. Here's the lady going through her garden and seeing all that she had planted that season. The world depends on your kind, little winged one. Because of you, creatures enjoy all sorts of delicious food. Yes, fruits, vegetables, flowers. Raccoon paused to imagine the taste of strawberries. That's why she built the garden, you see. I believe she got inspired by the gift of you pollinators and decided to return the favor. Here's all these flowers and how good it is to plant flowers because the bees and the birds and the butterflies are so attracted to them and they help to pollinate all of the food that we eat, raccoon, as well as people. Shaking his head, raccoon took a long, deep breath, seeming wistful. There are things we expect sometimes without thinking, things we rely on to just be there for us. We expect wind to blow and fresh air, rain to filter through soil and flowers to be pollinated. We expect little folks like you to just show up and do your jobs so we can have raspberries and blackberries. But we should be careful just expecting. Expecting all the time. Raccoon broke from his reverie to notice that B was still there. Come with me, I'll show you, Raccoon said, turning to waddle toward the backyard. The sun was just peering over the trees. See that over there? Yes, bloated B. That's Bee Balm. That's what you're looking for, right? Asked Raccoon. Once you get there, You'll see another bee balm farther off, and there's more over the next fence. There's a whole line of them until you get to the lady's garden. You can thank her for that. She told her neighbors about pollinate, pollinator gardens, and now there's a trail of food and places to hide. She told her friends, see, and then they all started doing the same thing. So what you can do by listening to this story and learning, is choose a clear day, take an old blanket outside, find the sunniest spot, lie down. Would it be a nice place for butterflies and bees to forage among your flowers for nectar or make a home on a host plant? Flowers love sunshine. Stretch your arms as far as you can over your head. What if you planted a square garden patch that big, for the tips of your fingers to, to, to your toes? Or what if you filled some containers with soil and several seeded pots with fragrant flowers? Insect pollinators not only need nectar, they also need places to hide and water to drink. So plan to add a concave rock or a saucer filled with wet sand where butterflies can gather. Provide nectar forage water and hiding places. Start small with native plants from your local garden store. Try a few varieties to have flowers blooming throughout the growing season. Maybe start with butterfly weed. Butterfly weed. Yes. Bringing back habitat also supports the local food economy. Working together, people can create wild corridors connecting one property to the next. These trails of food and shelter help wildlife travel from place to place so that as the bees and the butterflies and even the hummingbirds go from place to place, they can go from one yard to the next undisturbed 
and have a nice trail of food. And then once it blossoms and blooms, Mr. Raccoon can enjoy it as well as the people such as you and me. I hope you enjoyed this and learned something. Maybe you could go out and plant something today too and create some habitat for the wildlife in your neighborhood. Will you take care? And uh, Mr. Raccoon wishes you goodbye. So do the bees and butterflies. And remember, learn something new every day.